Hi, I'm Kate Morical, a technical marketing manager here at Autodesk, and I'm here with Lynn Allen, who's a technical evangelist. So she goes around and tells everybody how great AutoCAD is and what a fantastic product it is. So Lynn, thank you so much for joining me. Of course, I'm happy to be here. So as you probably know, we're in the middle of our 2010 product launch, which means we have some great new features coming out in AutoCAD 2010. And I've asked Lynn, what kind, what's your favorite new feature in AutoCAD 2010? Oh, there's so many. Of course, the big features I love, like the parametrics and the constraints and all of that. But today, how about one of the smaller features? Because I think that oftentimes it's the little features, the things that we do all the time, that really add up to be big. So I thought I would comment on hatching. Because there's two really cool things that happen in hatching in AutoCAD 2010. One of them is has to do with Whenever you have a hatch pattern that has a hole in it, right? You can't hatch it if it has a hole in it, right? We have other ways to get around that, but uh, one of the great features in 2010 is that it will actually show you where the gap is. It'll put two big round circles at the end of each gap, and then you can fix it, or you can decide what you want to do. So that's really cool. I like that. And the other thing that has to do with hatching is the fact that you can now edit non-associative hatches. So let's say for whatever reason it got disassociated, but you still need to make some modifications to it. You'd like to be able to maybe grab grips and move it. 2010, no problem, you can do that now. Which makes, all I know is that whenever I show it to an audience, they go crazy, so must be a really good feature. Well, thanks, Lynn. So there you have it. It'll be two small improvements to the hatch command that'll make a big difference to a lot of people. So thanks, Lynn, for joining us today. Of course, absolutely. And thank you for being here.